Well, we're talking about revelations and things, and we've been talking about this little rabbit that I brought home from the pet store. Sears. It actually was the pet department in Sears. I was there with a, an old boyfriend looking for a car shit, I don't know, and I ended up in the pet department. Now, I went and came home with the rabbit. Now, at that time, I was just getting ready to, like, get out of my parents home I was like I'd had enough already but I was in a really weird place in my life and um I didn't know if I was going to marry this freak or it was horrible all right I don't know what was going on it was it was I was a mess but I knew I had to save this rabbit right so I brought the rabbit home mm -hmm. and my mother came into my room in the morning and started I was w awoken by the sound of her screaming uncontrollably, like loud and shrill, screaming at the top of her lungs. The little rabbit was terrified. It's sitting up in its cage looking at her. And, it, you know, this was its first morning in my room, right? Mm -hmm. And she start, burst into tears, my fucking biological mother, and started screaming, Your father is going to... What is he going to do? What are you doing? You're wrecking this family. You bring this thing into the house. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you doing? You're ruining everything. Why are you doing this? Why? 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 And that was like my mother's way to behave always. But uh, that was exceptionally fucking freaked it, freaky because of this little rabbit. I had brought home other things before, but I just like... I felt so bad for the rabbit. I was just like, all right, I got to figure out now what to do with this rabbit and, and bring it somewhere safe because uh, she's out of control and I don't know what to expect. Because as usual with my fucking biological mother, I never knew what to expect. An hour later, my father is like playing with the rabbit. My father was finding the rabbit cute and my father was like making friends with my rabbit, right? Then my mother is like all smiles. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, your father likes the rabbit. Not one word to me about what she did before, the way she behaved, her projection of what my father was going to do when he saw a rabbit, a tiny baby rabbit in this house. Mm -hmm. John, your mother was petrified of your father petrified of him she's still petrified of him that's the incoherent ravings of a frightened lunatic your mother has always been petrified of your father your mother was well aware of what your father did to you she caught him at it not once, not twice, but several times. She didn't report him to anybody, did she? Mm -hmm. You grew up in that house, right? Mm -hmm. Did she think uh, her, her fear of, of him leaving her was what it was? That was the fear. That was her biggest fear. Because somehow he was a prize. He was a handsome prize. And she was terrified that he would finally fucking leave her. Because he told her many times, You are one sorry ass woman. I never should have settled for you, boy. What I could have gotten instead of you. And he was right. A lot of good looking women chased your father. So she wasn't afraid of him for any reason. She wasn't afraid of his drinking. She wasn't afraid of him hurting any of you. Not really, because he did it all the time. She was afraid of him leaving her. And then how would that look? She lost that handsome guy that everyone raved about when she hooked him in the first place. And the only reason she hooked him was because he was homesick for a family and he liked her father and her mother. 
He loved her mother's cooking, and he loved her father's camaraderie. She was a byproduct of him getting in that family and feeling some kind of family tie all alone in a foreign country. Very young man. His unhappiness soon, you know, developed into full-blown alcoholism and psychosis and, uh, you know, pedophile tendencies came out and uh, your father was possessed by demons his entire life, starting from the time he was a boy. No need to go into that now, but he had some very fucking crazy uh, mojo going on over there in the old home country, Hungary, Budapest, uh, Gyor. A lot of gypsies there, a lot of spells, a lot of curses. It's real. It's all real. My father was fell victim to that pretty early on. Were my Hungarian um, grandmothers and ancestors good, loving people? Yes. On one hand, and on the other hand, they were a breed apart. That's a different breed, the gypsy, dear. Hmm. So your mother went nuts, and then all of a sudden your father smiled, and the sun came out again, and then your mother loved the bunny, and everybody loved the bunny because the bunny is very lovable. And the, But, you know, she behaved like you had brought home Jack the Ripper to disembowel the entire family. Right. So that should shed a little light on, uh, you know, what's happening there and what was happening there. Just a tremendous fear of losing the guy that everybody else wanted. After a while, she didn't want him either, but she sure didn't want to lose him. Mm -hmm. She always liked other men more. You saw the any time you brought a boyfriend home, she was all over them, like desperado. Mm. And uh, not only that, but she loved going to church and mingling with all the church men husbands that went to mass you know your father never stepped foot in church once in a while on the holidays then under very great strain and and that ended pretty soon you know he didn't do that often enough really so yeah every christmas dad in church wow some fucking walls are gonna cave in mm. very nearly did on my wedding the the thunder and lightning in my first wedding. <laughs> when when the priest, uh, at my first wedding to Stephen, when the priest asked, uh, is there anyone um, who has anything to object to these two getting married? It was a slightly overcast day up to that point, sunny and, and uh, clouds, but nothing terrible. At the moment the priest asked that, the sky opened up and a big giant crack of thunder uh, sounded and vibrated the walls of the church and lightning was like hitting the tree outside if that sounded like and it's on film I have a video a VHS videotape of that moment it's and my face is just drops because you know what I was like that is God and I he's right I should not be marrying this guy right now but I'm doing it look at me go <laughs> Would you look at me go? <laughs> God himself is fucking screaming from the thunders, the thundering from the valleys, and here I go. Mm. The sky turned dark just now in here. Yeah, well, it was a dark day. It was a dark day, Lena, because really I, I didn't want that for you, but there was nothing I could do about it. You were running from the frying pan into the fire and back again. And you did that for a few years, but everything's much better now. All right, so listen, honey. Um, You got to do a couple of more sit-ups with me. Oh, no. Come on, John. I'm not kidding. You just got to work out a little bit more, all right? We got, we're, oh, we got this, honey. We got this. You, you, can you do it? All right, I'll be the rabbit right now. One, two, I'm done. <laughs> Any 
anything you want? No, there's nothing to add. We're just talking and I'm explaining things to you that you might not otherwise not have realized was the case. And that's the case with your biological mother. Corrupted thinking all the way down the line. And the last thing on her mind was really ever protecting you people. You children, especially you, Lena, especially you. But he beat Alan pretty badly. and Right, but I want to say one thing. When he would be like verbally abusing me and calling me names and making me cry, which he did like every day of my life when I was really little, like every day, it was like, daddy's coming, going to come home. He's going to tell me I'm fat and I'm ugly and he's going to keep doing it until I cry. He's just going to do it over the dinner table and then he's going to do it while he's watching TV and then he's going to do it when I go walk across the room and then he's going to do it just whenever he sees me and he's just going to do that. And that's going to be when daddy gets home and that's what I have to look forward to tonight and tomorrow night and the night after that because like I'm only four so where am I going to go? My room, I guess. That I shared with those other two idiots. So you feel like she tried to protect you from that? She didn't try. She can tell you she tried. She didn't try. She didn't try. Not the least bit. In fact, she started getting on you with him. Because she sensed that it would bring her closer to him. She didn't try. Tell you what she did try. She tried to kill you both. They both tried to kill you. Because mommy walked in on daddy doing really disgusting things to a little kid. A little baby. And that's an image that won't go away. No matter how good looking he is. And how much your friends think you're a lucky, lucky lady. That image just won't go away, right? Madeline? So if it wasn't for that little baby girl, everything would be good because you would never have that image in your head of your husband doing that to that baby, right? But there she is and she just won't go away. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It's coming around.